Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're doing a product review on the new bag from Jacko. It is a, um, a gym bag. You know, from the looks of it, basically it looks like your regular gym bag. Front compartment, a few side compartments, you know, shoulder straps, you can wear it right over your shoulder. Well, the bag actually is a lot more than that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Open the top part. We have a velvet lined compartment here for your cell phone, um, jewelry, whatever you want to keep safe so it won't get scratched up, uh, jiggle around your bag and everything. Now let's lay it down, take a look at the, the right side of it. Over here, we have a little side compartment. You can put your tape in there. Um, I can't even put your keys in here. Anything you want to keep from, the, from your gear, um, you can separate it right in the side compartment. Spin around, take a look at the other side. Insulated compartment. For your drinks, if you have a container with soup in it or you have some hot food, like a hot sandwich you want to keep it here for after training, it keeps it warm for you, and vice versa. If you have any cold drinks, it keeps it cold for you. It's a very cool feature. Open up the meat and take this part of the bag. A lot of room in here. Um, right at the back part, we have another zipper compartment. I'll put a map piece in here. You can put, again, your keys, tape, anything else you need you know, to bring to the gym with you. Over here, we got a uh, change of clothes for, you know, when we're done training. Plenty of room in here. Shin guards, focus mitts, boxing gloves, MMA gloves. A lot of room in here, guys. The, the biggest feature in this bag, I feel, which separates it from some other gym bags, is this next feature. It's a really, really cool addition. Um, no one else has done it yet. It's another zipper compartment that you unzip and unfolds a ventilated section of the bag so you can separate your wet clothes from your gear. You're, no, you're not mixing you know, clean clothes or dirty clothes because everything's separated. Um, as you know, you, know, you probably change clothes like three times when you're training, change shirts a few times. Um, it, it, gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty gross when you start mixing those wet clothes with your gear. Let's see if the, you, you're, you're going to work, running around, you're going to training. Um, that can, those clothes sit in your car sometimes. At least they're away from your gear and you're not really contaminated with too much um, too much bacteria because it can sit in there, especially if you're in California or Vegas, it gets pretty hot out there. Um, also, shoulder strap. So when your back's full of gear and you really can't wear it on your shoulders anymore, or you just prefer to wear like a traditional gym bag, clip this right on here. And there you go, you got a traditional style gym bag. The bag lists for, I believe, $125. Um, we're going to add a link right to the bottom of this video. Just click on that link. I'll also put it in the, in the credits where you can get the bag. So, uh, it gives a recommendation, guys. You really, um, the average gym bag might go for like 30 bucks to 60, but you're not getting at anywhere near the features you get out of this bag. Um, it's definitely worth every dollar. You're not going to find another gym bag with an insulated pocket or a level line pocket. They definitely put a lot of thought in this bag. Um, and if you're serious about training, then you usually have, you know, two or three bags with you just to do all the things this one bag can do. So it's definitely worth the money. Uh, I suggest you guys get it. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys order the bag and um, safe training. Have a good time.